But let's get our jingle, folks. Welcome to ABC Yoga. Nice to see you, Becky. Nikki's joining, Stacy. This will be our last mountain ABC Yoga class. We'll be back in our house next time. So looking forward to seeing our friends again and being in our home. But nice to see our online friends. So this morning, uh, I'm gonna mute all and let's start on our backs, squeezing our knees into our chest. <clears throat> Hope everyone survived. Thanks, uh, Thanksgiving, oh. Halloween. Okay. So good morning. Inviting you to draw your knees into your chest. And just in this position without even squeezing those knees in, just allow the body to be heavy. So checking in, notice if the body's creaky, aching, dealing with any injuries. And then drawing your attention to mind, knowing, noticing if it's active, maybe dull, sleepy. And then checking in on your energy level. If you have a lot of energy this morning, if you are just waking up, so we're just checking in. We're not trying to change anything. So let's interlace our fingers below that right knee and extend the left leg. Find some gentle ankle twists in one direction. We'll change direction with that ankle twist. Draw the knee across the body, extend the right arm. And maybe take that gaze over the right shoulder. So we're just checking in to the limitations of our body this morning. Let's roll on our back, extend that right leg. Pause for a moment here. Let the body relax. On that next inhale, hug the left knee in. Interlace the fingers below the knee. Let's find some ankle twists. And we'll take the knee across the body, extend that left arm. Maybe take the gaze over that left shoulder. Let me take another breath here. Let's exhale it out. Let's roll back on our, onto our backs and keep the shins parallel. The feet can be relaxed. We'll take our hands on our thighs beginning to engage that core. So hands press against the thighs, the thighs press against the hands. Feel that contraction in the belly. Relax your face, keep squeezing and pressing into the thighs for three, two, on one. Now draw those knees in back towards your chest. Maybe you find your elbow, your elbows, your wrists, head and shoulders are on the floor. Relax your face. And again, just have those shins parallel to the floor. We're going to squeeze those thighs against our hands and our hands against those thighs again. So sip, feel that zip in the belly, connecting with that core. Keep pressing. Three, two, on one. One more time. We'll draw those knees in, stretching out that lower back. And we'll take our hands on our knees. And let's find some knee circles. Just big circles, one direction. Good morning, Ringo. We'll change direction. So we'll take our hands behind our knees. We'll rock our spine backwards and forwards. Three or four rocks. But then we'll open up our legs into a straddle position. We find that internal rotation, flex the feet, and support your hands behind your back. So we're going to puff out our chest here and then draw that, that tuck our tail, draw our navel in. So we're doing a modified cat cow in our straddle position. So reaching our heart forward, then round that back body. We're moving on those six bones. <clears throat> our heart lifts forward. We round the back on the exhale. And just one more here, we breathe in, we lift, nice. 
Draw the hips back. Keeping one hand supported behind you, we we'll lift the right hand and draw it towards the left toes and just snake up the leg and we'll change direction. So the left hand lifts towards the right toes and just work the arm up the leg. So we're just alternating, finding a gentle stretch forward with our breath, free, breathe in, exhale, three more. We reach and draw it down the legs. Last two. And one more on each side. We breathe in, extend, reaching. Nice. Now we'll draw our legs together. We come on to our hands and knees and activating that core. Just a couple more, a uh, couple more times. So the tops of the feet root, hands directly underneath your shoulders. Turn the eyes of those elbows in towards the center. Now we press the feet in and hover those knees off the mat. Back of the neck lengthens, straighten through those arms for three, two, on one. We drop those knees down. Let's just bump those hips side to side. We'll take two more like that. So focusing on opening up the tops of the feet, feel those toenails as you hover those knees off the mat. The navel is engaged in and up towards the spine. And we lower those knees. Beautiful. We'll bump those hips side to side. Last time here. Feel those toenails. Look, hover those knees a couple of inches off the mat. Back of the neck lengthens. Navel in and up towards your spine for three, two, and on one, we'll roll over the toes and find our downward dog. Shake out that head. So we'll pedal out those feet. Shake out that head again. Keeping those hands where they are. We'll walk our feet up towards the heel of our hands. So taking those big toes towards one another, we're gonna bend those knees and just round that back body. So take as deep of a knee bend as possible. Find that breath, breathe it into that lower back. Shake out that head. And after a few breaths, maybe take those hands behind towards your heels. We'll find that halfway lift. On an exhalation, crown the head towards the floor. I'm just wrapping my elbows behind the back of the knees. I'm still in that compression position. So two more. We find that halfway lift. Bend those knees, round that back body. One more. We inhale, we lengthen, and we round. And just take those hands in front of you. We'll step the feet back into our high plank. Shoulders over the wrist creases. I have my feet hips distance apart. Really use the tops of the feet as leverage here. So we're going to just shift backwards and forwards here. Warming up those ankles a little more. Warming up those wrists. Into our downward dog. Lift those sits bones. Eyes towards the back of the mat. We'll pedal out those feet again. Find that stillness in your downward dog. And then draw those big toes towards the center of your mat. We lift the right leg. Bend the right knee. Stack those hips. And let's find some nice wide knee circles. So slow it down. Find that leverage the groundedness of your hands. Let's change direction with that knee twist. One more revolution in this direction. And just extend that right leg and we'll lower it down, big toes touching in the center of the mat. Next breath, we lift the left leg up, we bend the knee, we stack the hips. Find those palms, root them into the mat, and find those knee circles. Slow it down. Again, find the limitations of the circle. Please change direction. Building arm strength, straightening through those elbows. Finish that last revolution 
We extend the left leg, nice, and lower that leg, big toes touching. So we'll inhale back to high plank. We'll drop our knees to the earth. Nice, untuck the toes, use your body weight, elbows bend to bring the chest all the way to the floor. Forehead to the mat, we squeeze those elbows in. We find our baby cobra. So lifting from the back body, take the forehead to the floor. Now extend the hands out in your fingertips off the mat to find a baby cobra again, maybe a little more upward dog <clears throat> in the chest. Beautiful. Forehead to the mat. We take our hands in line with your chest. We'll press through a child's pose into our downward dog. Toes tuck under, lift through those sits bones, eyes towards the back of the mat. So we're going to take that one more time. So we breathe in, we find our way to high plank. Can drop those knees to the earth, untuck the toes. Use that body weight to come all the way down. We find that baby cobra. Lift, forehead to the floor. Then extend the finger pads off the mat. We find that baby cobra, maybe more of an upward dog. Nice, forehead to the floor. Hands in line with your chest. We'll press through a child's pose into our downward dog. Eyes towards the back of the mat. Let's lift that right leg high. We'll find our warrior one. Left heel, uh, left foot uh, on the floor, ride that breath all the way up. And we'll find our vinyasa. Hands to the floor, right leg back. Now you can modify that vinyasa or high to low plank. Cobra or upward dog, downward dog, eyes towards the back of the mat. Our left leg lifts. We step it forward, right foot on the floor, ride that breath all the way up into your vinyasa. Hands to the floor, left leg back, drop the knees or take high to low plank. Cobra or upward dog, downward dog, eyes towards the back of the mat. Steady breathing here. Noticing the quality of the breath. Our jaw is soft. Let's take one more breath here. Let that go. Look forward, bend those knees, walk, maybe hop to the top of the mat. We find that halfway lift. Forward fold into Uttanasana and then rise. Full breath in. We'll take a slight back bend and we'll swan dive forward. Take your time, beautiful. Crown of the head towards the floor. We find that halfway lift. With control, we step or jump those feet back. High plank to our low plank. Cobra or upward dog. Downward dog, eyes towards the back of the mat. Our right leg lifts again. Warrior one. Left foot on the floor, big breath in. Now we'll take those hands behind the back body. Interlace those fingers. Open up the palms, and the palms can rest gently on the back of the left thigh. So you're in control here. We bend through that right knee, and like we did in that straddle position, maybe puff up that chest. Open up the throat, eyes towards the sky. Spread the toes wide. One more breath here. On an exhale, come back to center, and we'll forward fold into our it, 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 crown of the head in the inside of the foot into our silver surfer. So draw the hands away from the back body. Engage that core. <clears throat> Take one more breath here. We finish that exhalation on an inhale, feet root. We extend those arms up high and we'll take a vinyasa. Hands to the floor, right leg back, high to low. Cobra or upward dog, we'll meet in downward dog, eyes towards the back of the mat. Our left leg lifts, find warrior one on this side, foundation with the feet, we rise. Now we interlace those hands behind the back body, open up those palms, 
They rest on the back of the right thigh. And again, you're in control. That left knee tracks over the left ankle. You can puff out that chest. Maybe gaze up towards the sky. Breath is steady. One more breath here. Let it go. We come back to home base and silver surfer. So use that core. Crown of the head comes on the inside of that front foot. Take those hands away from the back body. Open up the shoulders and those sit bones, those points at the, on, the, on your bottom, you want to spin them to the back of the mat. Track that left knee over the left ankle. One more breath here. We let that go. Engage the core, release the hands, come back through warrior one. Beautiful, your vinyasa. Hands to the floor, our left leg back, high to low. Cobra or upward dog. Beautiful, downward dog. Eyes towards the back of the mat. We reconnect with our breath. Steady breathing in and out through the nose. Please take one more inhale. We let that go, bend the knees, step, hop, or jump to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, forward fold. We unwind the spine, lines of energy out the, through the fingertips. That slight back bend as we fold forward. Take your time. We you find that halfway lift with control. We step or jump those feet back. High to low plank. Cobra or upward dog. We made a downward dog, eyes towards the back of the mat. Our right leg lifts. We find our warrior one. Ride that breath all the way up. Hands behind the back body. Silver surfer again, our heart lifts. Now the crown of the head and the inside of the front foot. We stay here for one full breath in, one full breath out. Inhale, rise. Extend those arms high, and we'll open into warrior two. Settle into those hips, right palm up to the sky. We inhale, reverse, and our vinyasa. Hands to the floor, our right leg back, high to low. Cobra or up dog, downward dog, eyes towards the back of the mat. Our left leg lifts. We find our warrior one. Ride that breath all the way up. Hands behind the back body. Our heart lifts. Silver surfer. We stay here for one full breath in. One full breath out. Inhale, release the hands. We find our way back through warrior one. Then we open into warrior two. Turn the left palm up towards the sky. We reverse. That left knee keeps tracking forward. Feel that side body stretch. Our vinyasa with control, hands to the mat. Left leg back, your vinyasa. Make it your own, maybe three-legged vinyasa. We'll meet in downward dog. Soft eye gaze. Finding that breath back in the body. Keeping the mind on our breath throughout the entire practice. Please take one more breath here. We let it go completely, bend those knees, step, hop, or jump to the top of the mat. We find that halfway lift, forward fold. Let's drop into our chair. Lines of energy out through the fingertips. Draw those shoulders back into the sockets. Lift those hands a little higher. Nice. Turn those pinkies in. Squeeze those knees together. Let's sit a little deeper. Beautiful. Two more breaths here. One more inhale. Hands to our heart center as we fold. Beautiful. We find that halfway lift. Step or jump those feet back. High to low. Cobra or upward dog, downward dog, eyes towards the back of the mat. One more time, we lift the right leg high. We find our warrior one. Ride that breath all the way up. Hands behind the back body. Lift the heart on the inhale. 
Silver Surfer, draw those hands away from the back body. Full breath in, full breath out. Slowly rise through Warrior One. Ride that breath open into Warrior Two. Right palm high, we reverse. Then we find our vinyasa, high to low. Cobra or upward dog. Downward dog, eyes towards the back of the mat. Left leg lifts. Step it forward into our warrior one. Sip in that inhale. Hands behind the back body. Heart lifts. Silver surfer. Let the head be relaxed, full breath in. Full breath out. We inhale, feet root, our arms rise till we open into warrior two. Turn the left palm high. We reverse our warrior and find our vinyasa, high to low. Cobra or upward dog, moving with your breath, beautiful. Downward dog, eyes towards the back of the mat. Find that breath. Slow it down. Take another full inhale here. We let it go. Bend those knees. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Halfway lift. Uttanasana into our chair. Look straight ahead. Lines of energy out through the fingertips. So opening up the tops of the feet, work, or, uh, the, the arches of our feet. Uh, finding our balance straight ahead, we breathe in. Hands behind you, lift those heels, squeeze those knees together. Find that balance. We'll drop the heels. Nice. Two more. So with our breath, we breathe in, we expand. Hands behind you, focus on one spot in front of you. Open up the arches of the feet, squeeze those knees together. Drop the heels. Last time. Beautiful. We breathe in. Hands behind you, finding that balance. Play your edge. If you fall out, just come back in for three, two, on one. We drop the heels. We find our way through our chair, hands through heart center as we fold forward. Halfway lift, step or jump those feet back. High to low plank, cobra or upward dog. Downward dog, eyes towards the back of the mat. Big toes touch, the right leg lifts. Let's take the right knee outside the right ankle. Maybe it connects. Extend the right leg high. Squeeze the knee in towards the nose. Round that back body. Exhale, extend through the toes. Let's crisscross that knee outside the left elbow. We extend. Giant step forward into our crescent lunge. Come all the way up. Nice, now we'll bring our hands to our heart center. Full breath in, let's twist to the right. That left elbow outside the right knee. Maybe you drop that left knee to the earth. Find that left shin rooting or extend through that leg. One more breath here, let's let it go. Inhale back into that crescent lunge. Release the hands. Now we'll gather our prayer to our heart. Push off that back leg into Virabhadrasana three. So look straight ahead, don't look down. Level off those hips. Let that right foot find your balance. <clears throat> so a slight bend in the left, in the right knee to take that pressure off the lower back. Find the upward dog in the chest. One more breath here. Let that go, then take a giant step back through our crescent lunge into our vinyasa. Nice work. That right leg back, high to low. Cobra or upward dog. We'll meet in downward dog. Eyes towards the back of the mat, big toes touch. The left leg extends. Take that left knee outside the left elbow and extend. Lift through those toes. Now we'll take the knee to the nose. We round that back body and extend. 
crisscross that left knee to the right elbow. We lengthen, then take that giant step forward, coming all the way up into our crescent lunge. So again, in this position, notice where those hands are. Open up those shoulders. You can cactus if you wish. We'll bring our prayer to our hearts. A full breath in. Let's twist right elbow outside the left knee. Those elbows in one plane. Can you take the navel off that thigh? Two more breaths. Last full inhale here. Let it go. Inhale back through that crescent lunge. We gather our prayer to our heart. Look straight ahead. Push off that back leg into Virabhadrasana three. So taking your time. Left foot is rooted, level off those hips. Can you lift that back leg a little higher? Engage that core. One more full breath in. Complete the exhalation, then a giant step back. Crescent lunge, nice. Into your vinyasa, high to low. Cobra or upward dog, we'll meet in downward dog. Soft eye gaze. Just pedal out those feet a little bit. Find the stillness in your practice. Slow everything down. You keep your hands where they are. We'll walk our toes into the center line. And one more time, lift that right leg high. We draw that right knee to our, to our right elbow or tricep. Maybe they connect and extend, point through that right leg. Inhale the knee to the nose, round that back body. Nice long extension. So we crisscross that right knee to the left elbow, extend that right leg, wait into that right hand till we find that fallen triangle. So use the leverage of your feet, lift through the hip points, maybe drop that left hand behind you, find that balance, beautiful. Watch that left hand as it comes to the mat. We extend the right leg up towards the sky and just lower it down. We'll take a vinyasa from here. High plank to low. Cobra or upward dog, downward dog. Eyes towards the back of the mat. Our left leg lifts. We take that left knee outside the left elbow and extend. Point through the toes. Inhale. Knee to our nose and lengthen, extend. Let's crisscross that knee to the right elbow. Extend the left leg. Wade into that left arm, into our fallen triangle. So again, Bill's modifying. You use your feet, lift those hip points. Maybe open up that right hand. Full breath in with control, slowly. Watch that right hand as it connects with the floor. Left leg extends, drop it down. Let's take a vinyasa. High plank to low. Cobra or upward dog, nice. Downward dog, child's pose. Beautiful work, connecting with that breath. So slow everything down here. Feel the body. Notice the quality of the breath. Working on that equal inhalation and exhalation. Let's take two more full cycles of breath here. One more inhale. Let that go. We'll walk our hands to the right side of the mat. Left hand on top of right. Weight those hips. Feel that beautiful extension, that nice stretch on the left side of the body. And we'll walk our hands to the opposite side. So right hand on top of left. Hips are heavy. That gorgeous stretch on the right side of the body. 
We'll walk our hands to center. Come onto our hands and knees. Just walk those knees in. Take that left hand in the center of your mat. Right hand extends. Then we'll thread the needle. Right ear to the floor. Maybe walk those left hands toward the left hand toward the top of your mat. Slow down that breath. Maybe close your eyes. One more inhale here. <clears throat> we let that go. Inhale, we extend that right hand back up towards the sky and just drop it down. We'll change sides so the right hand comes in the center of the mat. Left arm extends and we'll thread the needle. Left ear to the floor. You can walk the right hand towards the top of the mat. Enjoy this gentle twist. One more breath here. We let that go. Inhale, extend that left hand back up. Nice, we'll lower it down. Toes tuck under, lift those sits bones. And let's walk our hands back towards our toes. Sort the back of the mat. Feet are, feet are parallel to the sides of the mat, at least hips distance. Take a forward fold and find your opposite elbows. So shake out that head, taking more weight into the balls of the feet, begin to fire up those hamstrings. Face is soft, relaxed. So you can stay here in the forward fold or find those peace fingers around the big toes. Invite that halfway lift lengthen through the spine, elbows bend crown of the head towards the floor. So shake out that head. Using that breath, most the most important tool, I always talk about the most important tool in your yoga toolbox is that breath. So you send it to the tight areas. It keeps you in that present moment. One more breath here. Let's let that go. Spin those toes out, 45 degree angle, into our squat position. So maybe you need to take a wider stance with your feet. Maybe those, elbow, those heels don't come, quite reach the floor yet. You can use the support, use a brick. Just slow down that breath here. So we'll take five, uh, five uh, standing from squatting position here. So use that core, root the feet, inhale, we lift, allow those hands to come to the sides of the body, back into that squatting position. Number two, use the power of those legs, those big muscles, expand, knees bend, find that deep hip crease, last three, Last four, into that squat. Last one here, we'll stand, we'll expand, and just bring your hands to your heart center. Ringo's been observing our class all morning long here. So samasthiti tihi, hands at our heart center, open up those collarbones, reconnect with that breath. So we'll flutter those eyelids open, Fingers, uh, fingers brush the floor into our chair position, right into our eagle position. So right elbow under left, right thigh up and over, wrap the leg if that's available, and spin those knees into the center of your mat. Beautiful, find one spot to concentrate on. Let's lift those elbows a little higher, breathe into those shoulder blades, you can feel that gorgeous stretch. Sit a little deeper, squeeze those thighs, and we'll release. Right foot on the floor, big breath in. Hands to our heart center, into our chair. Fingers brush the floor, we expand. Left elbow underneath right. Weight into that right foot. 
Use the core, left thigh up, over. Maybe you find that wrap. Spin the knees to the center. Let's lift those elbows. Squeeze those thighs, sit a little deeper. Our tail is tucked under. One more breath here. Let it go. We'll release and we'll go right into eagle. One more time, expand and then whoosh. Right elbow under, right thigh up and over. Find the stillness in this posture. Stay here or we'll unwrap the top thigh into the Virabhadrasana two. Three. <laughs> You're so smart. <laughs> it is three. So find that balance. One more breath here. Let it go. Use that core. We'll lift that uh, right thigh back up and just take the right toes to the floor now. We're in our sleeping eagle as we invite those elbows in towards our chest. So really breathe into that upper and middle back here. You have the support of the right foot on the ground. One more breath here. Let it go. We're going to just release the hands and take that right foot on the floor and take a forward fold. So my right foot is over my left, my right ankle is over my left ankle. Let that head be nice and loose. Can you take a little more weight into the balls of the feet by bending those knees? And from here, just take the left foot alongside the right foot and we'll come back all the way up to standing. So we'll come to the other side and we'll take a big breath in and we'll take eagle on the other side. Left elbow under, left thigh up and over. Find that eagle. Squeeze those thighs together. We stay here or take that left thigh into Virabhadrasana three. Hips are level. Steady breathing. That right foot is rooting you. Nice concentration, ladies. One more breath here. Let that go. On an inhale, draw that left knee up and you just take that left foot to the floor, to that sleeping eagle, inviting those, those elbows towards your chest. Find the breath. We'll take one more inhale here. We let that go. Release the hands and just take that left foot to the floor so the left ankle is crossed over the right. And you just take a forward fold here. Find that breath. One more inhale. Let's let that go. And just take that right foot alongside the left and we unwind the spine. Inhale, nice work. Hands to heart center, samasthi to he. So we're all ready for our dancer here. Our right elbow by our right hip, our left arm extends. Take a, a deep bend in that right knee. We find the inner arch of the foot and squeeze those thighs together. A great place to stop right here. Great for your balance, where we begin with the kicking action. So kick up and towards the back of the space. Left arm extends. Breathing. Play that edge. For three, two, nine, one. Come all the way up. Place hands to your heart center. Samasthi Tihi. We pause and breathe. Other side. So left elbow by our left hip, our right arm up towards the sky. We bend that left knee, squeeze those thighs together, extend, and find that kicking action. See if you can find that edge with the toes and then begin the reaching and kicking. <clears throat> Breathing, play that edge. Three, 
two, on one. We come all the way up. We'll bring our hands to our heart center, our vinyasa. Full breath in, forward fold. You find that halfway lift. Step or jump those feet back, high to low plank, to cobra or up dog, downward dog, eyes towards the back of the mat. Our right leg lifts. Take a step with the right foot out the right hand into our lizard. So keep that left leg straight first, and let's rock backwards and forwards again, keeping those wrists and ankles mobile, flexible. Now an option here to take the left knee to the earth. We untuck the toes, lift the chest, look straight ahead. And an option here to find the outer edge of that right foot. Some light tension in the inside of that right knee. If you want to go a little further, maybe find your forearms on the floor or place the floor on, forearms on a brick. Allow the body to relax. We can stay here or take a bend in that left knee. So the right hand can reach <laughs> up and over for the toes. Draw the heel in. Spin the chest up towards the sky. Then we point through those left toes. The right arm straightens. You feel that stretch across the chest. You took hold of that left foot, just release the leg. And we'll walk the right foot across the mat into our pigeon. Woo! Right knee towards right thumb. Find those left toenails and let's walk our hands forward. Forehead to the floor. Melt through the chest. Allow the shoulders to soften. Sending the breath to the outer right hip. Two more breaths here. One more inhale. We let that go. Lift the heart, walk your hands back towards the body. And again, an option here to bend that left knee. Now we use the opposite hand, the left hand towards the toes, draw the heel in, spin your chest towards the front of the mat. And with control, release that left leg, tuck the left toes under, step into downward dog, or take a vinyasa. High to low. <clears throat> Cobra or up dog, we'll need a downward dog, eyes towards the back of the mat. Our left leg lifts, take a giant step into lizard. That left foot's on a 45 degree angle. Keep the right foot straight first. And again, we rock backwards and forwards, opening up those wrists and ankles. Option to keep a straight right leg. Take the right knee to the earth, untuck the toes, and we melt through those hips. So all kinds of versions here with our arms. After a few breaths, after the body relaxes, maybe you find your forearms. We're midway using a brick. And then invite the outer edge, uh, weight into the outer edge of that left foot. So opening with that left knee. Rhythmic breathing. You can stay here or now bending that right knee. Take the left hand towards the toes, draw that heel in. So I spin my chest up towards the sky. My left hand comes towards that left foot. Then I press the toes in the opposite direction, lengthening through that left arm, feeling that stretch across the chest. Releasing that right leg to the floor. And we'll walk that left foot now across the mat 
finding our way into pigeon on this side. Left knee towards the left thumb, right toes untuck. Settle in. Five to seven breaths here. Our jaw is soft. Lick your lips. Clean the teeth with your tongue. Steady breathing. Let's take two more breaths here. One more inhale. We let that go. Inhale our heart lifts. We walk our hands back towards the center. Stay right here or we bend through that right knee or using the hand, right hand towards the toes. We draw the heel in, spin the chest towards the front of the mat. One more breath here. With control, let go of that leg. You can tuck the right toes under, step into downward dog, or option here to take a vinyasa, high to low, cobra or upward dog. Into downward dog, we'll drop our knees on the mat, untuck the toes, Walk your hands back into our ustrasan, into our camel. So always like to do two camels. The first one we tuck the toes under, hands on our lower back, elbows hug in. We puff out that <clears throat> chest again, full breath in, stay supported, or we go a little further. So maybe finding those heels, finding that bow position with the body, our throat is soft, eyes are open, feel the breath in the body, send it all the way, all the way to the belly, squeeze it out. One more inhale, let it go, use that core to come all the way up, keep those toes tucked under, sitting the bottom on your heels. And we'll take our hands, our fingers facing towards our knees. Shoulders relax. You can take one hand at a time if this is, creates any stress on the body, or just walk those hands a little closer. Still breathing. So we'll spin the, the fingers in towards the center. Keeping those hips on your heels, just interlace those fingers. We'll take our infinity, our infinity shape, maybe change direction. So it's harder on this side for me. Shake out the hands, hands to the floor. Let's add some energy into those toes. Now root through those shins. We walk our hands back up our thighs. Last, Ustrasen. So protect the knees if you need a little extra cushion. Root through the shins, hands on the lower back, elbows hug in. We find that breath all the way to the belly, hip points forward, open up the throat, stay protected here. If you have a little more mobility, maybe take the opposite heel first. Open up the head, the throat, the chest. Find that breath. Three more breaths here. Last two. And on one, we take our hands on our hips, use that core, come all the way up. Hands to the floor. We'll cross our ankles and extend those legs out in front of you. So take the soles of your feet together into our Baddha Konasana, butterfly. We'll just take a little flight with our knees. Our chest is lifted. Now let's round our back body. Elbows are inviting those thighs a little closer to the floor. <clears throat> now we'll lift our heart, 
keeping the soles of our feet together, we'll just find a more expanded diamond shape. So you can hang on to your ankles, elbows towards those knees. And again, just a gentle forward fold, a very subtle movement here. Maybe you round the back body. And we'll lift our heart, take our hands outside those knees. Let's zip those knees together and let's roll onto our backs. Give those knees a squeeze. So we'll take that right thigh over the left. We find those eagle legs. Bump your hips to the right side of the mat and take a gentle stretch. You will drop those knees towards the left. So give your body the time to relax in this posture. After a few breaths, gravity and the weight of your legs may draw those knees a little closer to the floor. And if it feels good, you can take a gaze over that right shoulder. And the breath. Take one more breath in here. Let it go. Inhale, we'll lift the knees. And just take that right ankle on the left thigh. And we'll find that figure four. One more hip opener here. So option to interlace below the knees or on the back of the thigh, right foot, both feet actually flex, shoulders relax, squeeze that left knee in. Find that breath. One more inhale here. Let that breath go. Take both feet flat on the floor, feet are hips distance apart, and we'll just windshield wipe with the knees to the right, to the left. Exchange sides a couple times here, stretching out the hip flexors. And then we'll come back to center and we'll take the left thigh up and over the right. Come to the outer side of your left side of your mat and option to drop those knees to the earth. Take your time. We're unwrap the knees, allow the body to relax, so it can let go of the holdings. Nice, one more breath in, maybe take a gaze over that opposite shoulder. We'll inhale, take those knees back to center, and left ankle over right thigh, flex both feet, Hug that right knee into the chest. Find that breath. One more inhale here. Let that go. And take both feet flat on the floor again, hips distance apart, and just windshield wiper those knees side to side. Bending those knees to our chest one more time. We'll find our happy baby. Hands on the outer edges of your feet. Gently rock the spine side to side if that feels good. And then pausing here. The knees are drawing towards the floor. The feet are flexed. You're squeezing the hands into the arches of your feet and you're squeezing the arches into the hands. Keep that left knee bent. We'll straighten through the right leg, reach through the heel. Right heel in, take that left heel out, straighten through the leg. An option to keep that left leg extended. We'll find that straddle position. And last posture here, I'm hanging onto my ankles. I'm bringing the soles of my feet together, finding Baddha Konasana on our backs, backs. We draw those heels towards our inner groins. And let's just gently release the legs to the floor, take up a lot of space. We're going to squeeze everything for five, four, three, two, 
Let everything go on one. Find that next full incoming breath. Let it go. Adding movement to your fingers and toes. You stretch the arms up overhead. And hug those knees in one more time. And squeeze those knees into your chest. Maybe draw your forehead towards your knees. Head and shoulders on the floor. Allow those knees to fall to either side of the mat. Pause for a breath or two here. And inviting you to find a comfortable seated position. Eyes soft or closed. Rooting through those six bones, a beautiful tall spine. Inviting you to bring your hands to your heart center, bowing your forehead to the tips of your fingers. Acknowledging your practice, and joining your voices to seal class with one beautiful own. Big full <clears throat> breath in. Om. The light within me honors, read and recognizes the light within all of you. Thank you for sharing your practice this morning. Make it a great day. Namaste. Why from the mountains, guys? It's last mountain ABC <laughs> yoga class. Thanks, everyone. We had the cats this morning. Nice to see you, Becky, Stacy, Nikki. Everyone surviving the uh, weather so far. Snow in Colorado.